talk about anxiety. Anxiety. So I've had anxiety on and off for like quite a few years and it got really bad during COVID and I struggled at one point with dealing with it. Okay, I actually didn't know what to do and I was watching Jesse Taylor's videos on Instagram and I booked a session with him and he told me, Tamara, like you're trying to intellectualize your anxiety. You're trying to uh, be logical you're trying to re what you're doing is you're actually reacting to it and you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to give it importance what you're supposed to do is allow it to play out and not talk to it not react to it because when you do that you're telling the brain that it's important when the brain no longer sees that you're reacting to it it no longer gives importance to the anxiety so it happens less um, and and I was like, so what do you mean? Like, how do I do that? He's like, think about like a washing machine. And he gave me the example of a washing machine. And he said, you have to allow it to run its course. You can't interrupt it during its process. And by interrupting it, I'm talking about how like you start thinking things and talking to yourself or talking your, your way out of it or trying to intellectualize what's happening you respond to it physically you start doing things that are only making it worse whereas what you should be doing is doing nothing and allow the feeling to kind of go through your body just like how a washing machine would wash through a cycle until it's done and when it's done your brain thinks because it didn't res you didn't respond to it that it is not important unless you engage with the anxiety by talking to it intellectualizing it reacting to it doing things that are like trying to distract you from it the more your brain thinks the anxiety is important because you're doing so much for it whereas if you just allow it to go through its process your brain's like oh she didn't react to it so it can't be that important i don't think i'll do that again or even if it happens again it's with less severity obviously it's a process that you have to have the strength to go through every single time until it just decreases to the point where it no longer happens anymore and then the other thing is to take valued action so actions that you value do things that you love that you're passionate about that are valuable to you uh, whatever that is and then your brain thinks oh that's important so you're kind of tricking your brain into believing something else is more important than the actions can be anything that you value or what means something to you so for example like playing paddle or going to the gym making a podcast um, whatever hobbies that you have like go and do something that you value because then the brain's like oh she's putting so much focus on that that must be what's important to her and then it shifts the focus the anxiety is a really 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 tough thing to go through and I know because I've been through it this is just one of the ways that it works for me when I'm going through it I just try to allow myself just to feel feel it I'm not going to talk to it I'm not going to react to it I'm not going to even think about it every time my brain tries to like start running I like shift my focus somewhere else and then I do something that I love that I value right after and then all of my focus goes into that so that the anxiety decreases and <laughs> it gets less and less over time it can even be as something as simple as hanging out with friends I really hope this helps you